Hiya, this is a quick video to introduce you to our brand new simple websites, which we are so excited about. Um, basically, due to um, the cost in the cost of living has really, really increased. And we've noticed a trend on our uh, various social media groups that we're on that owners really are thinking of cutting back on um, well, having to cut back on costs. And websites obviously is a new website is obviously a big cost that they could do with without. With that in mind, we're looking at how we can provide a website that works, but also looks beautiful, easy to edit, and can do a lot more than a typical website that if you went to your local web design agency could provide for you. And this simple website does all of those things. It, I would even go so far to say that at the moment, this is so in innovative that it actually, in a way, surpasses our standard websites at the moment, in a way. And we're going to probably look at how this one works and then use some of the elements on our standard websites. Now, as, as just to give you an idea of what the difference is, with this layout on the simple sites, we will not be customizing any layout. The layout you see here is what you get. There is no changing it at all. If you want a change to it, you'd have to go for our standard website where we customize the page to your needs uh, and so on. But how we've made this one, it, it fits everything. So you, you shouldn't need any amendments to this at all. And I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So looking at, ignore this black menu bar at the top, that's because I'm logged in. So if you were logged in to this site, you would see that black menu bar. And as you can see, there's like an edit page button. That is literally how the site gets edited. So if you click, click on it, you'll see this slide out appears and you can just see where all the text is, the homepage slider and the gallery. And that is all the actual physical content on the, that is editable from that way. So if we come out of there again, um, I'm just going to quickly show you the layout. You've got the header, obviously, menu bar, then you've got your contact details there. Then you've got what we call the intro area, a nice little gallery section. And then you've got what is called the niche section. So why choose us? And you've, you can see that there's various um, niches that are showing here. And they're, they're basically your unique selling points. And they can be as um, some things such as dog friendly, luxury, close to beach, um, close to local attractions that are highly sought after, rural locations, uh, quirky, anything that makes your accommodation special or the reason someone chooses you, you want to have a little bit about that um, set as little sections here. So when we click on one of those sections, so look, look, looking at this dog friendly bit, when you click on it, it takes you through to its own little page and this page can be added to. So if we click on the edit button, again, you get the slide out and you can add as much text here. So if you want to add about your, your dog um, dog rules, for example, or what's great for doggies to do in the area, all those sort of things you can add to this text. You can also add some additional images. So in this instance, imagine you have guests who've brought dogs with them. They've sent you photos. You can add their, your own little gallery there of those doggy photos or of just your own dogs enjoying themselves at the holiday accommodation. You know, whatever you want to do is absolutely fine. Going back to the home page. So um, you've got the niches, which are there, unique selling points. And then you've also got about the area. And again, these are just, you know, you can have as many or as few of these as you like. But for the best results, because on a desktop, you want to have three. Three is what I'd consider the minimum area information post you'd want to add. So you can be as broad brush as having one post for all the local attractions, one for nearby, one for the local town, um, you know, the nearest town to you, or you can spread them out and actually have a post for each attraction, depending on how valuable you think or how much information you want to add. So imagine you wanted to, you know, there was um, golf, for example, you might have one just on golf, and then add all the details of the local golf courses, for example, fishing, you'd want to have, you know, something about fishing there, you know, lo local areas for fishing, etc. And when you click on them, again, you have the same sort of layout that you can have the 
featured image, the text, which you can add as much text as you like. And then you've got a gallery where you can have as many photos as you like. So um, that's the home page um, in a nutshell. And then you've also got, um, apart from the area, you've got a nice uh, reviews carousel, which will show the five latest reviews that you've added. And when you click on more reviews, I'll show you that in a moment, it takes you to the reviews page, which shows all of them in chronological order. And then lastly, you've got a book online call to action here, which um, compels people to check your availability, etc., and rates. And then obviously you've got your footer and so on. So let's go to the top of the menu page and click on the accommodation page layout. As you can see, you've got um, space for 10 icons here. If you don't have 10, um, it's, you, five would be fine. You could have just one row of five, for example. Um, then you've got the intro area again and a features list. And then you've got two text areas. And then you've got a lovely gallery area and then an FAQ. So you can add as many FAQs here as you like, and it's really simple to add them. Um, you, again, you just click on the edit page button. You see all the elements that make up the page and at the very, very bottom, let me just get there. You've got the FAQ section. To add a new one, you just click on add FAQ. That box appears, you type in the question, type in the answer, click save, and that will instantly save it. So, um, you know, it's really handy. Whenever anyone sends, if you already know your frequently asked questions, you can just fill that in. As and when people send you a question or ask you a question over the phone, you can just add that to the website and you'll build up a really wonderful um, knowledge base, which you can refer people to as well, which is lovely. Um, because the menu bar also has, um, sorry, there's also this button here that takes you down to FAQs. Um, we can, it basically allows you to send that as a link to someone directly to the FAQ section. Um, availability and book online page is, um, as it, as it, you can imagine, your text for your, um, to tell people about how to book their stay, etc. Your booking system widget will go here. So if you're using Booklet or Super Control, they've got beautiful calendars that you can just pop into the website. Um, if you have something like um, W, um, sorry, uh, free to book, we can add the booking widget there. And we can even provide our free calendar, which can sync with your free to book, but you do have to pay free to book for their iCal service. So that's the only thing that you need to add there. Um, then you've got the reviews page, which I mentioned before, which shows all your reviews in an in a, in a order. We've only added two here so far. The local area will show all your local area um, articles like that. Um, so as I said, there's, this one's only got three, but you can add 10, 20, however many you want it. If you're in a really, um, a, an area that's hugely interesting with lots of places to visit and so on, don't forget you can also do a post on places to eat and drink. So you can really go to town with as little or as you know much information as you want to add. And lastly, your contact page, which um, is pretty straightforward. And in fact, if you want to add, we have a section that is invisible at the moment, but if you were to select the location um, from the edit section, you, you can, it will show a map, what three words um, link and a, a text block for you to add directions text to. So you have that option as well. As you can see, whilst it's a really small site in terms of the actual structure, you can add as much as you like to it using the reviews, niches, and area information posts, which is fantastic. So it really can expand your site so much, which search engines really, really love. And in, in particular, your niches and local area have got your have got H1 titles that are picking up the title of the article. So they're going to be very specific, which will really help people come to your website based on those SEO rich titles. But we will explain more of that if you take this service up when we give you your tutorial video, which shows you how to add everything and make it as good as, as possible. Once you've finished adding all your bits and pieces, we will check your website and, and make sure that there's 
it looks exactly as as we would want it um, and provide you some uh, some suggestions if if we feel a little bit extra is needed somewhere and then we'll make it live for you so really simple really quick to do and um, you know you can guarantee that if you're ordered in the next few days that your site will be ready for Christmas which is great um, because you're you're highly likely to get a much better booking conversion rate than an older site that looks tired isn't hasn't been updated very much and you can really tell when it's not it's not a loved site in that way right please get in touch if you have any questions take care bye bye